TV visits a well-known member of the deaf community. Welcome. We're in a hurry. The kids need to get to school. The kids are running late for school. How did having a deaf family affect you? I love that question because when I was growing up, I had a friend, Paul Lessing, whose family is deaf. I would watch in admiration as they communicated in sign language. However, at my home it was different, and I wish it were the same. My parents used oralism. Communication was difficult, and I would always pray for a deaf family. When our first baby was born, the doctors did a sound test, but I already knew the baby was deaf and kept quiet. Everybody was shocked, but accepted it. The second baby came, and I knew what I had prayed for. I wanted a strong deaf family who communicates easily. I love it. Sean Lee is a great father. The kids love their dad and enjoy playtime with him. When I'm busy, he helps with the kids. He's a good family man. Why did you and Trudy decide to send your kids to a mainstream school? My father used to tell me how important education is. That's why our children are in a mainstream school, to learn different ways of communicating with people. Why do they need to be in a school of the deaf if they're coping in a hearing one? I'm happy they're in a mainstream school. With both deaf and hearing culture, they will communicate easily. I'm off to work. Let's go. Tammy cope in a mainstream school? Very well. She's very independent. Um, she's a very proud person. She doesn't like me to help her. She likes to do everything by herself. And she reads lips very nicely as well. And she understands what I'm telling her to do. She understands everything, all the themes we discuss. We do hand movements as well. And I show her pictures to discuss the theme so she can understand the theme better. Yeah. 
Let's check out Sean's workplace. this job different to your previous job? In my previous job, I was responsible for maintenance of cell phone towers. I'd make sure network towers were working and check the satellites. I worked with different networks as I have a diploma in engineering. I loved my old job, traveled a lot, but I had little time with my family and I was forced to resign. Luckily, this job opportunity was available. I like new challenges. What exactly does your job here entail? There are many different mines such as gold mines, etc. In my field, we work with coal. We supply ESCOM with coal for generating electricity. We mine the coal and distribute it. We also fix broken machines and replace pressure hoses. Mining operates 24-7 and never stops. We always check that the machines are working accordingly. The public needs electricity and are able to watch television because of my hard work. challenges you face here. The job is great. However, I'm not allowed to work night shift because I'm deaf, but I'm happy because I can spend time at home. The challenge I face is miscommunication with checking the sizes and analysis of the pressure hoses. The hoses sometimes burst under pressure, then I have to replace them. There are different types of hoses and I'm still learning. It's a very noisy place and they speak really fast. So they give me examples to understand, but I still face communication challenges. I have to stand very close to the person to understand. Stay with DTV and find out how Trudy and Sean met. Trudy Jones works from home. Let's find out more. How did you and Sean meet? Sean and I met at a restaurant. I liked him, but kept it to myself. He asked a friend for my number and we stayed in contact. 
we started dating and he asked me to marry him. He told me I make him happy and I'm supportive. Sean and I met at Trans Orania, where I helped with a fundraiser. Sean arrived in his car, blaring loud music. He drove past, chewing gum, the car bouncing up and down with noise. I asked myself, who on earth is this crazy person? Then we met and he introduced himself as Sean Lee and teasingly showed me his sign name linked to his tattoo. We spoke for a while and had a lot in common. Wherever we go, he carries his iPod with him. No matter where he is, he plays music. He knows I normally put my hearing device off, so he makes me turn it back on to join him dancing. When we have fries, Sean always plays booming music. The neighbors want it off at 10 p.m., but he plays the blaring music until 12 a.m. Has marriage changed Sean or is he still the same person? He doesn't party as much anymore. He focuses on his family and loves the kids. He's happy. changed man? I'm now a father figure and a role model to my children. I still like to party and enjoy life, but also play with my kids. What's important is to be a strong role model. I need to teach my children life lessons. I need to guide and discipline them before the ages of seven. Then it is easy to deal with when they're older. That's my job as the boss. After the break, we talk to Sean about Felix and Rex's club.
remember DTV's sitcom Rex's Club and do you miss it? Yes, I loved it. I've been waiting for the show to come back. Now that I don't act anymore, I feel old. I love the story and I really miss it. I'm getting old now, but I want to act again. I hope my children become actors as well. portrayed in Rex's club was very misbehaved. Was that hard for you to do? It was easy, because I'm naughty, but nice. In the sitcom, I played a mischievous character. It wasn't that difficult. I could easily change from Sean Lee to Felix. best describe you in your youth and which now? I'm funny, hey, a party animal and a loving man. I'm still the same to this day. Hey, what do you think? You agree? <laughs> what I love most about Sean Lee is that he has a big heart. He's always willing to help people, and he takes care of his friends. He's always there for me, whenever I need him. If Sean Lee puts his mind to something, he always carries it through. If he's made up his mind about something, I just agree. Two months' time, he'll call me and tell me that he has achieved that goal. He never gives up, even though I don't take him seriously sometimes. He believes and perseveres in whatever he does. Sean loves to be a winner. He hates losing. He always has to win. Your future dreams for your family? I have one dream, and one dream only. That is to have more children, maybe six or seven. I'm teasing. I hope my kids stay small, jokes aside. My dream is to have my own business so I can do things my way. What lessons have you learned in life? The most important lesson I've learned is to stay strong. I've seen children being bullied. My disabled sister was bullied as well. Okay. Carry on. 
I grew up seeing a lot of bullying, which I despise. Bullying taught me to stand up and defend myself. When my parents got divorced, I had to be strong. When you have a problem, share it. Don't let it keep you prisoner. TV was here. <gasps> Welcome to Ferienheim. You are naughty. <laughs> I'm sure you know this motto very well. You only have one life. Live it and stay positive. You will face obstacles, but keep smiling. Mwah.